Okay, guys, my husband friend gave him a recipe for some hash brown. It's like a hash brown casserole, similar to a Crackle Barrel. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be using. You're gonna need a measuring cup. You're also gonna need onions, cream of chicken. You're actually gonna use Kobe cheese if you wanted to taste exactly like um, a Crackle Barrel. Didn't know that, I just happened to find that out, but I got sharp, but I'm gonna make it work. You can also use, um, I mean, not use, you also will be needing some salt, Sour cream. Sour cream is not in the um, Crackle Barrels either. But again, I'm making my husband's um, recipe. you also be needing some hash browns. I got the cut up hash browns of Simply True. Um, got some butter and some Pam. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this Pam. I'm going to spray the Pam with this. Um, you're also going to need a baking scale. I mean baking scale. A baking sheet. I'm going to go ahead and Pam that up. Put some Pam on that. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and put some butter inside of here. I need half a cup of butter. I'm going to put it in a microwave. Let it get hot. Uh, go ahead and get my soup open. Uh, and then I will continue. Okay, and again, make sure you grease the skillet because you don't want it to stick. So I already greased this, um, the, not skillet, grease the pot, the pot, the cooker. Half a cup of butter and I put it in the microwave for about a minute and just keep adding time and see when it melt. Make sure it's melted. And guys, you know me, I already got the onions chopped up. So what I'm gonna do is you can either cook them in a skillet or you can warm them up in the microwave. Um, but just make sure you warm them up because you want them to get cooked a little bit, okay? And make sure your hash browns are thawed out. Everything you use and make sure it's thawed out. Okay, guys, now I'm about to put half a cup of um, cream of soup inside of here. And then after that, I'll be adding the butter and then I'll add the cheese and the onions and stir it together. Okay, half a cup of the cream of soup. And add just a little bit of salt, just a little, just for the taste. Put the sour cream in there, put the cheddar cheese in there and then put the onions in there. And I'll put the amount that he said um, in the video description box. Okay, now you have to add the sour cream and you're gonna be adding a full eight ounce inside. Okay, now time to add the cheese. It say add the whole thing. It say 12 ounce, but I, I got eight. I'll make eight ounce work. And I'm still trying to debate. It say we use Ritz. I might just use Ritz. I'm gonna use, it say two cups. I just use one cup, cause I don't, really know what the Ritz could taste like, but I know Ritz do make things taste crunchy. So it's optional if you want to use the Ritz. Guys, now I am about to stir up everything. If you want to, next time you can put this in a bowl. It's all up to you, but I'm gonna stir it up in here. I didn't use, like I said, the two cups like I said, but just go ahead and get this all stirred up and like i said if you want to next time use a bowl you just do it gently that's less dirty you have to clean up if you don't have to use a bowl And guys, you know I always gotta remix everything. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna make it like a lasagna. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put all this topping down at the bottom and I am going to put the um, actual hash brown on top of everything, okay? So I just kinda just laid it out. Don't press it. Just lay it out just a little bit and then I'm about to add the hash browns. And what I'm gonna do, y'all, I might, I think I am, I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese on top. A 
And use your hands. I already washed my hands. It's all right to use your hands. Just make sure they wash. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of stick it down in there a little bit so it can get mixed in with the stuff. Just kind of push it down a little bit. And like I said, guys, if you want to, you can always put you some cheese on top. Always remix what you see. You know, you can always stick to what you want the first time, but second time, or, you know, just remix a little bit. Give it your little extra flair. You don't always got to stick with the plan. And if you want to, like I said, um, you could add the reds. If you don't want to add the reds, you don't got to add the reds. So this is going to be my hash brown casserole. Uh, I'm going to put it in the oven, guys, for 45 minutes to 50 minutes. Check it. See what it looked like. You want the edges to be nice and crispy, okay? And once I get done, I'll come back with the uh, end results. And happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Bye, guys. And just pushing it down in there so you get that nice consistency all in there. Okay, in a dryer, I mean in a dryer, <laughs> in the oven it's time. Again, put it on 350 for 45 to 50 minutes.